In this video, we will talking about how to configure VM backup and CDP. To use the backup, it is required to have a backup repository. It can be virtual storage, external storage, local storage or window shared folder. The first backup will be full backup which completely copies the VM configuration files and disk files to other storage. The followed backup will be an incremental backup. VM backup is able to execute manually and automatically based on user needs. Starting from a cloud 6.0.0, it support periodic full backup, backup archiving and new backup retention policy. Next, I will show you how to create a backup repository. Go to Reliability, Scheduled Backup or CDP. Select Backup Repositories. Click on New Add data store the backup repositories. On this demo, there is iCASI storage already mounted to a cloud. So, we can directly select the iCASI storage. Enter the total spaces used for backup and click OK. After create a repository, you can click on the total backup spaces. It allows you to modify the total backup spaces. How to manually backup VM. To manually backup the VM, select More Backup. Enter the description. Select the iCASI as destination data store. Click OK to start the backup. The backup completed. How to manage or restore VM backup. In order to manage the VM backups, select More More Backups. The first backup is a full backup, which will take more time to backup. The followed backup will be incremental and smaller. Next, it allows to edit the description. For backup lock, the manual backup will be protected, which means it will not be cleared automatically. For the browse file feature, due to security purposes, the browsing activities will be logged. Click confirm. For the browse file feature, it allows to browse and download the file stored in the backup. To recover the VM, you can click on the recover. There are two recovery method. It is recommended to use create new one method. A new virtual machine will be recovered from the backup. Will not affect the existing one. For the second method overwrite the existing one. A new VM will be recovered from the backup while the existing VM will be shut down and deleted. Enter the VM name, and ensure the data store is correct. Click OK and the VM will be recovered. For the CDP backup, it will record the I.O. log every 5 seconds. So you can browse files or recover VM based on the I.O. logs. To clone the VM, click on Clone. Enter the total VM to be cloned. Select the correct backup and data store to store the new cloned VM. Click OK and the VM will be cloned based on the backup. Click on Details. You can see the backup is a manual backup. And the type is incremental backup. Click on the backup. It allows to create a new backup like the previous stage. For version 6.0.0 and above, a cloud support archive feature. For manual archives, it only able to archive the latest backup. Enter the description and select the destination data store. It is not allowed to select the data store in which the backup stored. Select virtual data store 1. For the compress archives, this may save storage space but consume more CPU and time spent. Click OK and the archive task will start. Archive backup to virtual storage complete. Point to the description will show based on which backup time. How to configure scheduled backup policy. Go to Reliability. Schedule backup or CDP. Click Add New Policy. Backup Policy Support Weekly, Daily and Hourly Based Schedule. Select the start time to execute the policy. It supports selecting multiple day for a week. 
set an appropriate max duration for a schedule backup. When it reached, the subsequent backup task will not be executed. You also can tick the option to cancel the ongoing tasks upon timeout. For the enable periodic full backup, it can make a full backup periodically rather than an only incremental backup. This is to reduce the time of backup recovery and merging. Select the appropriate month and start date to execute full backup. For the weekly schedule backup retention setting, it will preserve all backups for the recent one months by default. You can click on add to preserve more backup for another month. Click OK and Next. Select the virtual machine. Select the backup repository to store the VM backup. For the archive backup to other data stores, it can archive the backup to a specified data store. But it cannot be a Windows Share folder or the backup repository. Select the archive repository. Click on the advanced. It allows to configure the start month, date, and retention period for the archive backup. Click Next. Enter the policy name and description. Check the policy summary and ensure the configuration is correct. Click OK and the new backup policy will be created. How to configure CDP backup policy. Click New CDP policy. Select the logs retention period and the logging interval time. It is recommended to set the backup periodic to one hour. CDP also supports to enable periodic full backup same as scheduled backup. For the backup retention setting, by default, it will preserves all the backup for the recent 3 day. Then, merge the backup which is over 3 days to 14 days. Click Next. Select the virtual machine. Please be aware, every VM only can have one backup method. Click Confirm and the VM will be associated with this CDP policy. Select the backup repository. Select the log repository. It can stay more different from the backup repository. You can set the maximum log size for every VM. CDP also support archive backup to other data store. It is the same as the schedule backup policy on the previous scene. Select the archive repository. Enter the policy name. Ensure the configuration is correct and click OK. In the end of this tutorial, we have learned on how to configure backup repository, how to manage and restore VM backup, how to configure scheduled and CDP backup.